Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's quick video, I will show you one thing that um, will help you if you are into creating your uh, own uh, managed properties and mapping them to, you know, crawl properties in uh, SharePoint Online. Now, I actually recorded a separate video on managed versus crawl properties. This is really just for situations when you're trying to build uh, custom, you know, more advanced search experiences. Uh, but let me just quickly show you what this is all about. So here I have a document library uh, for standard operating procedures, and I decided to tag things with you know, with a few columns, and one of them is this business function column. And the, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go behind the scenes and I'll uh, just show you what I did, all right? Um, that's not really the topic of this video anyway, but um, what I did because I wanted to build some uh, custom, uh, you know, search experiences, I then, um, you know, created uh, on, uh, uh, created a managed property and mapped it to the crawl property that was created as a result. So just want to show you the proof of that. So here it is. So I then you know, actually relied on out of the box a refinable string uh, managed property and mapped it to the crawl property that was created as a result. All right, so I did this. Now, um, as you work with doc uh, different document libraries, uh, all right, and I'm sure as part of building your search queries, you maybe, you know, change the mappings. You uh, maybe map to one crawl property, and then maybe um, you decided to map, you know, to map to some other crawl property uh, as you're trying to, um, you know, fine tune your uh, query. There is one step that I highly recommend. All right, uh, what you need to do is re-index your document library. So every time you create a mapping, uh, brand new, or, um, you know, or essentially change the mapping, an existing mapping, you really need to re-index the library. And um, if you don't, it's not end of the world, right? It will be picked up. I mean, what happens, you know, behind the scenes, you know, behind the scenes, SharePoint, uh, you know, based on the timer drop re-indexes, uh, the all the content anyway. However, if you reindex it manually, uh, it's going to expedite things. All right, it's going to be like a, a little trigger uh, for uh, SharePoint, uh, you know, for for the timer job that something has changed, and you really need to uh, kind of pay attention to it. All right. So let me show you how to do that. It's how you reindex a document library. Uh, so you navigate to the library. All right, where you have your content, where you have your you know, columns and, you know, where, um, you know, the library where the crawl properties were created from that you map, uh, go there and then library settings, more library settings, and then you need to click on advanced settings, all right? And then you scroll to the middle of the page, re-index document library, all right? And it uh, actually, um, you know, tells you right here, uh, that we are going to re-index all of the content uh, during the next scheduled crawl, all right? So it kind of uh, expedites uh, things. So just uh, press the button and it just tells you kind of a generic statement that it's going to uh, obviously cause a load on the system and you just click re-index uh, document library and that's pretty much it, all right? So, um, you know, I found this, um, you know, re-indexing thing help helpful. Um, sometimes you change the mappings, you really, don't want to wait for many hours, uh, you know, for for the next crawl to occur. So you kind of just uh, expedite things by reindexing the uh, document library. All right. So that's all I really wanted to show in this quick, um, you know, video. Hopefully you found it useful. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.